Welcome back to the channel. We've got a great video for you. We're going to be doing a capacity test on a brand new battery, a brand new case. Really excited about it. Um, it's a 200 amp hour lithium cell. Uh, has JBD BMS 200 amps. Uh, not like them. Typically, these batteries have a 100 amp hour, or not a 100 amp hour, a 100 amp BMS and low temperature charging protection. I've just tested that on one of the smaller batteries because I can put that in my freezer. My freezer is set to zero degrees Fahrenheit and I tried to charge it and it would not take a charge. So really thrilled with that, uh, but we need to do a capacity test. So let's get started on that and I'm gonna show you what I have set up here for that. So let's start out with the battery. We have, uh, yeah, this is, the, this is the new slim case design. It's uh, about 20 inches long. Uh, I want to say it's about six and a half inches deep and about nine, nine and a half inches tall. So this is a great drop-in replacement for uh, any RV or something that's only got room for two batteries normally. And to give you an idea of the size difference, this is a 100 amp hour version. I also bought some of these and you can see it's pretty much the same thickness, but look at how much smaller overall. I mean, it, or it, the 200 amp hour is not that much bigger than the 100 physically, but there's twice as much capacity, or so we hope. So I think we're ready to start the test. I'll just give you an overview of the apparatus here. We've got the uh, positive main positive wire and the uh, the also the power wire for the Victron shunt smart shunt I'm using one of those and then I've got a 500 watt little inverter here and then I'm using a 500 or 400 watt desktop heater as the load uh, and this I was just using this power supply to actually charge the battery up to try and get it as full as I could to give this the best chance I can of passing uh, so I think we're about ready to start and this is set to 100% See no, no amps being drawn, zero consumed, and we're gonna check in on it from time to time. This, uh, let's turn this on, and everything's starting to fire up. Everything's getting a little louder. And this should creep up. It's a little bit more than a, what do they call that, a 0.1 C rate. It's gonna be like a 0.15. So it'll creep up to about 30 amps here, and then it should level off, yeah, about 400, a little more than 400 watts because of the inverter overhead. And seven hours to the, well, you know what, I didn't do a lot of the configuring as far as time to go on this, so. The time remaining shouldn't matter a whole lot. Really, I'm gonna run this thing until the BMS shuts it off or the inverter shuts it off. So that's the long and the short of it. Now we just gotta wait. All right, the uh, wild just lost, so that sucks. But um, here's what we're looking at battery-wise. About 8%, still going strong here. And then I'm also tracking, looks like the BMV, or not the BMV, the Smart Shunt is tracking a little bit differently. Uh, not quite the same. I imagine there's a little bit of differences in calibration. Uh, so we're gonna take all of that into effect, or into account. And uh, anyway, so far, Pack is still staying fairly well balanced towards the bottom here. And uh, I imagine our next update is going to be at low voltage cutoff. I think we're almost about there. Uh, the cell voltage cutoff is at 2.5. I'm gonna kill it before that happens because I don't want the shunt to turn off. 
So this is where we ended up. It's at this one has actually said zero for quite some time. Uh, however, the smart shunt has been saying something a little bit different. Uh, what do we finish up there? It looks like 202.3 amp hours. That's not bad. Advertised at 200. We got 202 and we were pulling about 34, 35 amps towards the end. Uh, ideally, these test conditions would have been about 20 amps. So there is a little bit of a pukert effect. I know some people would say, no, there's not. There, there is a little bit on the discharge side. Uh, not so much on the charge side, but on discharge, you will get a little less capacity if you go over uh, 0.1C on discharge. But overall, uh, I'm very happy. So again, uh, 200 amp BMS, so this can support 200 amps out of it, which is great for someone wanting to run a uh, larger inverter. Uh, it also supports uh, the low temp cutoff, so if it's outside, uh, you're in an ice fish house, something like that, it'll work great for you, and you won't damage it by accidentally charging it. So comment below if uh, you'd like me to test anything else, or uh, if I did something different uh, or <laughs> I did something wrong uh, I think uh, this is a pretty good test but uh, as always I'd love to hear from you in the comments uh, so if you need any uh, battery needs uh, solar panel needs or installation on your RV or off-grid equipment uh, contact us at the information below or sodasolar.com thanks bye